Papa Squad, come at ya. Hey everybody, uh, happy MLK Jr. Day. Uh, as I said yesterday, and I think the video was actually viewable, which was good. Uh, I did a song yesterday about MLK, and today we're going to do a song about MLK, or, or honoring him, talking about him, his legacy, uh, all that sort of good stuff. Um, I actually saw some pretty good, um, again, not celebrations of, of, uh, everything surrounding him, but, like, celebrations of the person and the fact that we now have this, uh, this federal holiday that, uh, absolutely, um, we, we ought to. This is a, a important thing that America has dealt with and is dealing with and continues to deal with and will probably continue to deal with for an unfortunately long period of time. Uh, but progress has been made, uh, even though some days it doesn't really feel like it. And, and I say that as a white guy, um, who hasn't had to deal with, uh, being subjected to racism. Uh, anyway, the song we're going to listen to is from Public Enemy from 1991, so kind of fulfilling what I started this channel for. Uh, I know of Pub Public Enemy super well. Uh, I don't know their music very well. Uh, really enjoyed what they were doing. I, I understood even at the time that the music they were making was very controversial because it was very in your face. Uh, but I think it was also done in a way that needed to be done to kind of throw some of the garbage that people had experienced over time back in the faces of the public. And being able to do that through an art form is really effective and really powerful. And, uh, and there's a reason why Public Enemy 1 chose that name. 2 was actually successful because they did it incredibly well. Uh, and this song I'm really curious about. Wouldn't be surprised if I heard it at the time, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, by the time I came to Arizona was written by Public Enemy's Chuck D in 1991 as a direct reply to Arizona officials, <clears throat> including John McCain and Fife Symington. Yeah, that's a white guy. Uh, for rejecting the federal holiday celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, just last year, this song's sentiments, uh, I don't know exactly when this was written, uh, this song's sentiments resurfaced when the same state's governor's Jan Brewer, okay, so a while ago, decided to sign into law uh, the Arizona Immigration Bill, which gave police power to detain people they suspend, uh, suspect to be indoctrinated proving that the same politics written about in By the Time I Get to Arizona are alive and well in Arizona today. Uh, yeah, and still alive and well in probably Arizona, definitely Texas. Um, there's just all sorts of stupid stuff going on there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give a listen to Public Enemy, By the Time I Get to Arizona, 1991. Oh, I... Had it with the sound off, so I have to turn it on again. Uh, there is, uh, I watched a little bit of this because I knew it started with a uh, cinematic thing. It is a little long, so we'll just listen to it and get through it, and then we'll get to the song. From what I heard of the little bit of the song, it's quite good. I know that you've heard all kinds of stories about me. That I am a racist that I am a supporter of the KKK, that I am against civil rights, all because I oppose the Martin Luther King holiday. But I am opposed to the holiday, and I will stay opposed to it as long as I am in office. See, and just this last couple of days, we're having a similar sort of issue with the voting rights bill and uh, the nightmarish Kristen Cinema and Joe Manchin, and uh, just insane. And as long as there are city officials that agree with me, there will be no holiday in this state. Good luck, brothers. Show them what you got. 
So even that beginning with Sister Soldier saying all that stuff, I, I mean, they are not hiding what they're talking about. It is absolutely 100% up front, and, and I think that's a super huge strength on their part, because they're not mincing words, and when they came out, people knew exactly what they stood for and what they wanted to talk about and what their goals were. And, I mean, talk about... It's, I mean, creating art and doing it in a way that just absolutely it doesn't stick it to the man but like kind of you know they're punching up and they're they're it's like in comedy right you always want to punch up the same thing with this you they're punching up and they're they're doing it in a super effective way So right off the bat again, super in your face, super aggressive, definitely strong notes coming right at you, and the message is reflected in the music, the music is reflected in the message, fantastic. A little gospel. Which is, I'll back up because he's coming in right there. Um, and the little bit of gospel I think is cool because it's also definitely a callback to the sorts of music that, that well, King certainly liked and, and enjoyed because he was a pastor. Uh, and it just, it's really super cool inclusion. What a great voice. You know, he does. He's got a little bit of that growl, and he's got... It's just distinctive, and it's so good. It's just so good. On a goddamn ring, neither party is mine. Not the jackets or the elephant. 20,000 Nicky Nicky puppets in the corner. Not the cell block, but they come from California. Population is none. In the desert and sun, with a gun cracker running things under his thumb. Staring hard at the postcard. Isn't it odd and unique? Seeing people smile while in the heat of 120 degrees. Cause I wanna be free. What's a smiling face when the whole state's racist? It's a good line. What's a smiling face when the whole state's racist? And whether you're talking about a specific state or a state like a nation, uh, yeah, there you go. So if I celebrate a state and on a corner, I ain't drinking no forty. Drink a time on the nine till we get some land. Call me the trigger man. Looking for the governor. Huh. He ain't loving your hot, but hear the trouble. You keep dropping your ball. Get the point and come along. You can get to the joint. I urinated on the state while I was kicking this song. Yeah, you better to be fair. Who suck the over there? You try to keep it yesteryear, the good old days. The same old ways that kept us dying. Yes, you, me. It's interesting to see them doing uh, a lot of things that had come up at the time, like the segregation of schools, or desegregation of schools, I should say, um, and, you know, showing other things about, uh, basically what I'm seeing is sort of, this is the stuff that was done in the past, or that still happens, and this is our reaction to it. And, you know, one guy's building a bomb, you know, not the best thing in the world. One guy is taking martial art. Like, it's showing that they're people, and they have motivations, and, like, this is just how people react to when they're treated poorly. They're gonna fight back. And here's the fighting back. And they can't understand why he's a man. I'm singing about the king. They don't like it when I decide to make it. Wait, I'm waiting for the day for the man who demands respect because he was great. Come on, I'm on a one mission to get a politician to honor. Or he's a donor by the time I get to Arizona. Well, I got 
So again, this part of the song, I guess I shouldn't say again because I haven't spoken since they switched to this sort of very kind of aggressive y screamy thing going on in the background. It definitely gives you the feel that there's like some kind of riot or attacks or something going on. It's it's very frenetic and, and, and filled with energy. Um, he continues his rap over all of this and is talking about everything he's talking about and how you know what dr king was doing and and i find it super interesting because it's definitely about how it seems to me at least like he did it his way and asked for respect and asked for equality and didn't want violence necessarily certainly okay with making people uncomfortable definitely okay with that but wasn't really listened to, and then killed. So, what do you think is going to come out of that? Uh, nothing good. I mean, we asked nicely. Now, now what? So I pray, I pray every day I do every shot of Laker. You live for culture, I got my not people to make. Pushing and shaking the structure, bringing down a Babylon. Here in the circle, I make it hard for the proud. The hard pull of blood, I need it now more than ever now. <laughs> No tip. good song good video um it again it's one of those songs that super strong message and it's a good song and it's a great message and uh i can see why it was both popular and yet not a super huge hit song because it is so political uh and so many people are going to disagree with it or not even listen or just completely misunderstand out of hand uh but i think it's uh, a good song for today and uh we're still dealing with this stuff I mean, this is from 91, so this was, what, 20, 30, 30 years ago, 29 years ago? Um, it's still around. It's still happening. It's still an issue. <laughs> uh, kind of sucks. Anyway, Pop Squat. Checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. I hope you had a good day off. I hope you had a day off. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.